Introducing first, from Osaka, Japan, one half of the Oscar! Asuka, absolutely incredible with what she has accomplished in such a short time here. Well on her way to becoming one of the best ever. You know, I will never forget the first time I saw Asuka enter the NXT arena. She had so much buzz surrounding her debut, and I, I think it's safe to say Asuka has certainly lived up to her reputation. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. All hands on deck. Please walk the plank by her partner from Yamaguchi, Japan. One half of the champions, Kyrie. I don't know about you guys, but it seems to me like the champ is a little more relaxed than we're used to seeing her. Well, if she thinks she's got the night off just because the title's not on the line, I've got some bad news for her. Because the beating she will take will be anything but a vacation. stranger to winning big time matches you're absolutely right Cole for some reason Carmella can get overlooked at times but the truth is she's right up there with the best Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past.
Here we go, folks, as we kick off this tag team match. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this Ooh. match the same as she would if the title was on the line. For as good as Carmella is, Corey, the unfortunate truth is she's not above bending the rules a bit to gain an advantage. <laughs> I don't know what's so unfortunate about that, Cole. The goal is to win, and there are few better at finding different ways to win than Carmella. It's not her fault the officials don't know how to do their jobs. Well, Corey Curley has no issue with Carmella's nefarious in-ring style, but Byron, her opponents most certainly do. They do, Michael, but they also know what they're getting into ahead of time. So they know that they have to be on the lookout. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, school them! She goes for the cover. She goes for the cover. the shoulders down and she kicks out with relative ease too soon Kyrie Sane has been called the pirate princess and is the name she's truly earned before stepping in the ring she actually competed in yacht races look I'll give you the princess part Sane definitely became royalty when she won the Mae Young Classic just because she sails doesn't make Kyrie a pirate she counters before it's too late Gals Carmella may be in a bad way here. Her and her partner may eat a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Corey debated the validity of Kyrie Sane's nickname, but I'm walking the plank for the Pirate Princess. She dresses the part, and she's always on the hunt for treasure, particularly the NXT Women's Championship. Saxton, don't make Kyrie Sane. Big move coming. What impact. She's got a chance to win it here. It's going to be hard for Carmella to come back now. There's a pin now. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to ex... Oh, silence! She can close the door here. Has Carmella produced an end result? The princess of Staten Island has always been known for her unique brand of... She works her way out of the holes. And I don't know how. That was locked in pretty good. Oh, a lot of damage taken on by Carmella. I'm not sure how this will pan out. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. The Moonwalk and Bronco Buster just got Carmella warmed up by forcing her opponents to tap out from the pain caused by the horrific Code of Silence submission. The Code of Silence sends excruciating pain through an opponent's neck and back, where it's difficult for them to move, let alone breathe properly. The superstar should do the smart thing and submit before a serious injury occurs. It took less than a month for Kyrie Sane to immediately become one of WWE's top talents. And she did so by winning the first ever Mae Young Classic. Carmella has eyes to finish. Oh, 
Oh man, she's rolling now. Kyrie Sane, big move coming. Byron brought up Kyrie Sane's arrival as part of the Mae Young Classic. She joined a field featuring 32 of the best women competitors from around the globe and conquered some tough opposition to take home the trophy. In order to win the tournament, Sane beat some of the top NXT competitors, including Dakota Kai, Bianca Belair, future NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. So yeah, the Pirate Princess definitely earned that treasure. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are... This could end... Game, set, match, this one is over. I don't know if Sane can recover. Probably not. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. As Asuka holds court on her battlefield, we are looking at a master of a craft. A representation of what the future holds for not just the women's division, but the entire WWE. And she's a little bundle of energy right now. She's starting to take a beating. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. I don't know what happened. She looked to be in firm control of this match just a few moments ago. You speak to Asuka in WWE's future, Byron. That you the Asuka lot. Uh-oh. She got it. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. Harsh impact. Boy, you follow Asuka's career. What does her opponent have to be careful of in this match tonight? Well, it sounds almost impossible, but you can't be intimidated by Asuka. She can be absolutely mesmerizing in the ring. This could be all she wrote. That's called making a statement, Cole. Asuka, she goes for the cover. You're not going to get her that easy. She got the shoulder up. That's all that counts. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Tell me what Asuka can do here to improve her chances. I'd say her fans have every reason to be concerned here. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. I wouldn't worry about her too much, guys. She seems one big move away from picking up the W here. To the outside where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. Hooked up. And... This always nice when a plan starts coming together. Nobody wants to face Asuka when she's rolling. Uh-oh, Asuka is looking to end it. Now look at Asuka, she could snap her arm. This one's over, guys. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. This might be it! Oh my, she is on fire. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. She might have it. Oscar was able to get out of the way there. She's almost out of it. It's up. Oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Suplex! Nice! Oh, man! 
And she's a little bundle of energy right now. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Swinging neck breaker. Asuka turns it around. Look at Asuka go, my goodness. Stunning kicks by the Empress of Tomorrow. She goes for the cover. One, two, and an air fall. She just will not give up, Cole. Look at that a second time. Oh, a stop to the back of the neck. She's got it now. And a pin attempt. One, two, barely a two and a half. Wow, there's a perfect example why they call her the Empress. A heart the size of an empire. Oh, wow. This could be a victory. One, two. I thought that was it. Unbelievable. Breaking the rules. Breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Oh, nasty impact. In off the tag. A slip on the lower back. And she's a little bundle of energy right now. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Not today. This is a bullet there. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. She looks for it once again. Man, that might just. She goes for the cover. One, two. <laughs> it went like that. Says a lot about a duo. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Man, oh man, look at that. This was another great moment. Here are your winners, Carmella and Chase E. Green. Big pitfall victory here tonight. Now that's the kind of win you can build some momentum off of. Matches like that are the reason why I want this job so much. Hey, baby, what you want to do? Come talking that shit, just drop that shit. I'ma bust that move. Yeah, hey, I'm tryna take that cruise. Fuck all the signs, just you want my man. I'm just tryna speak to you. Hey, tell me what you wanna do and tell me what you like. Tell me where you wanna go as long as I'm your type. You tryna kick it off, texting, tryna see that too. You wanna see me bust? Shit, I just might for you. Tell me what you wanna do. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you wanna do. Tell me.